Okay, so what you want to do first is set your background colour, okay? So on the top of PowerPoint, you've got all of these options here. Press design, and then if you go across to format shape here, it says format background at the top there. So you want to set your colour to whatever colour that you want to. I'm going to go for a nice light grey, and I'm going to press apply to all, so that's on all of my shapes now, okay? So on my first slide, I've got some examples. My second slide, I've got the example of what you're going to create okay and my third slide is blank to get rid of these boxes i just click in them and then click on the actual line okay and then press delete on your keyboard same with this one so if you try to delete while that's in it won't work you need to click on the line okay so now you're going to go to insert and you're going to press shapes okay and you've got all these different shapes to work with so the first one that i'm going to insert is just a basic rectangle and i'm going to do a couple of lines down the middle like this so now it comes up with format automatically, but if you need to press format, just press format at the top or you can double click on your shape. I'm gonna fill this one with black. I can also make an outline. Now, if I wanna copy the shape, I can either press right click copy, right click paste, or I can press control C, control C and control V on my keyboard. That's right click copy and right click paste. So I can pop these around my collage a little bit okay and now I think I'm going to insert a circle so what I might do is set in at this oval partial circle here okay because I want to show you a technique that I can use with it so I've made my circle here I'm going to fill this with white now with my outline I'm going to create a back black outline but if you go down to weight you can make the weight of the outline much thicker so I'm going to make that six okay so that you can see it you can also see that you've got some little yellow dots on the side of some of your shapes. This means that you can distort the shape. So for this one, for example, I can make that into a half circle. I'm going to now copy that image. So control C, control V, and I'm going to rotate it. So you can see you've also got this little arrow. That means you can rotate the shape. I'm going to put that on top of that circle. I'm going to make this circle black. Now, when I move this around, I want to move these two circles around together. So if I place them next to each other like that and I press shift, which is the little arrow in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard. It's normally just above the control button. I press shift and then I press the other shape. OK, and it will highlight both. You're then going to press right click and you go on to group group. So now I can move that shape around as one and I can rotate it as one as well. So I'm going to put this shape up here in this corner so that's another example of something that you could do next shape I'm going to add is going to be this little half circle here and again you can adjust this shape to either make it smaller or bigger okay and wider as well and again I can rotate this shape like so so I'm just going to rotate that a little bit more move it over so that I can do that and I think we need some colour in here now, so I'm going to add some red into this one and red as an outline as well. And again, I can control C, control V this shape, and then this next one, I might want to make this a slightly different colour, orange with an orange outline as well. Now, this is in front of this shape and I don't want that. So for this shape, I'm going to click right click and I'm going to send that to the back, okay? And you can do that with all of your shapes whilst you layer them on top of one another. I've just highlighted this shape as well because I want to move it across ever so slightly. What you can do instead of using your mouse to do this is you can use the arrows on your keyboard. So you highlight the shape and then you just click that across but it's so it sits a little bit more precisely exactly where you want it to sit. You've also got some other functions in your shapes arrow. So this one, for example, you can create slightly more squiggly lines. So it goes like this and then I let go, click again. And I could create a squiggly line all the way across my piece. And then you double click at the end. Once you've got it with a shape that you're happy with, so I could. Oh, I can highlight that. And again, I'm going to. Oh, sorry, that's the fill. Sorry, so I pressed the wrong one. So I just unclick that and I want to click the outline because this is just a line. 
and I'm going to click this dark orange colour but it's still very light so I'm going to make that again a nice thick line and again I'm going to send this to the back of my image. So you can pick loads of different images okay and make a layered pattern design which is very similar to Fernand's work okay with the mechanical machinery that he's representing. Another shape that's useful that I'll just show you very quickly if I can find it is this one here. So it's the cylinder shape. And again, you can rotate this one and you can make it slightly adjustable with the angle as well. So that's quite a nice shape to be part of your composition. Okay, so make sure you fill the slide, use loads of different shapes, think about your colour theory from your last unit, okay, and make a really interesting collage.